hello folks. Today's October 23rd, 2009, and I'm at Makepeace Lake in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. This is in the Makepeace Lake Wildlife Management Area. And I've been searching the edge of the lake for cranberries, and I found some here. I wanted to show you some cranberries in the wild, although I do think this lake is a former cranberry bog. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it is. But we do have cranberries here. It's very, very windy, so I'm not sure if you can hear me very well. Yeah, the wind's really blowing. And what you're looking at is an island in this very shallow lake. Okay, right here at my feet are the cranberries. There's tons of them, actually. Now these are the plants. They're kind of like mini shrubs. But they also grow, they also have a vining kind of habit. Okay, see there's the berries. There's some hanging on the plant there. If you can hear me. Actually, there's some right up here too. Out of the water. Get over here. Yeah, see these these things don't get much more than four inches tall. See the little, see the berries? There they are. Cranberries in the wild. See, the cranberry plants like the water. They don't necessarily want to be underwater permanently, but they do like to be wet. See, these are floating, so they've already come off. They've already been knocked off the plant somehow, and they're floating. And when they do commercial harvesting, if the berries float, then they're good. So, these are good. Of course, you can't eat cranberries straight. They're too tart. The other thing we have growing here on the shore of this lake is uh, sundews. See how tiny they are. Of course they can get bigger. These are the spatulate leaf sundews. There are three types. Spatulate leaf, round leaf, and thread leaf. Sometimes you can see all three in one place, but not here. 
Now the sun is completely completely behind the clouds now. I was going to show you the full foliage over there on the other side of the lake. It's just too gray now. Anyway, the main point of this video is to show you the cranberries. But I might as well walk around and show you some of this foliage that's coming out fall foliage. The foliage is changing fast. Yeah, check this out. Reindeer lichen and moss together. Here at the wildlife management area, the, uh, there are a lot of great shapes. I've done videos here before, so... See, all these little oaks here are blackjack. They're very interesting leaves. I'm wondering if this is a hybrid between a blackjack and something else, but maybe not. This is the this is the classic blackjack oak leaf shape here. And they can be reddish or gold or a golden brown in the fall. There's a lot of variation. See, there's that classic shape. Of course, the pitch pines here have great shapes, as I've said. Yeah, let's look at look at some more up close. Yeah, there's not much in the way of oaks here at Make Peace. But they are pretty. They're changing fast. When the oaks change in the Pine Barrens, it's gorgeous. First the wetlands and then the uplands with the oaks. Boy, when the sun is shining, that lake is so pretty. Especially with those islands. Like that island right in front of us with the Atlantic white cedars on it. Before the 10 minute time limit runs out, let's have a look at that island. There's some fall color right over there. Yeah, this, the light isn't right for this. We had some beautiful days this week, but not today. say blueberries but they're not. That's green briar berries. Something I'm not used to seeing. Yeah it's impossible to have blueberries in October, November. Yeah that was green briar there. These are the, the water lilies floating in this lake here, are the white water lilies. Of course, there's no flowers in October. See all these are baby Atlantic white cedars. Tons of them, that's what these are. All Atlantic white cedars. There's a nice swamp on the other side of the lake, Cedar Swamp. Alright, that'll be all. I don't know what I'll do in the 
next video. Right now I'm going to eat lunch anyway, so until next time or later.